Let's keep your heart just so up your two hands wherever you are begin to worship his majesty tell him how big he is call him names in your language Kalata. he's the reason why we are here tonight unto him that answered prayer shall all flesh come open your mouth now riva la doza nana nasata Lord, we love you more today than we loved you yesterday. There is none like you. Give him praise. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Lord, 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 we lift your name. 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 Shout our 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 name. I will never let you go. I will never, never let you go. Unless you set me free. 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 Unless you set me Set him in this service, my father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Bible says, they that wait. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is good to wait. But when your waiting has become so prolonged, it becomes an affliction. Yes. It's good to wait. But when that waiting becomes prolonged, yes, it becomes a plague. Are you listening to me? Yes. So you need to pray a prayer. Shout, Lord. Lord. I have waited for too long. I have waited, waited for, for too long. long. In this fruit service. In, in this fruit service. I must produce result. I must produce result. Open your mouth and begin Let your mouth 
Le nome ti ama me. Le nome, le nome i ka hulan wanki. Le nome ti ama me. Le nome akwa kam se bi wa. Le nome, le nome i ka hulan wanki. Are you tired of where you are? Jesus. Are you tired of where you are? Jesus. Are you tired of walking without result? Are you tired of labor without result? Are you tired of jumping from one relationship to another relationship? Are you tired of this bickering and log ahead between Jesus. you and your and your husband? Are you tired of being in the midst of plenty yet in scarcity? Are you tired of being born great but look disgraced? Aya balata le no me le no me le no me le no me i can go la wanki look at me lord answer my prayer restore my strength Don't let me down. Look at me, Lord. Answer my prayer. Come, restore my strength. Restore my strength. Restore my strength. Don't let me down. Look at me, Lord. My foes are mocking. My foes are mocking. Oh, don't let me down. Look at my labor. Look at my struggle. Look at my family. Look at my mother. Look at my father. Look at my siblings. Hey, answer my prayer. Come restore my strength. Do not let me down. Do not let me down. Do not let me down. Lord, I'm tired. Ya mana sabara nda ya do balodo. Isha ga tam don ton don ton 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 kroko to bana kara kata. Carry your fruit. Restore my strength. Do not let me down. Kaya na mano so shikata na la bagade bra la katolo la 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 la. Ezekiel 34 from verse 27 And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit <laughs> And the earth shall yield her increase unto thee Amen. And they shall be safe in the land Amen. Therefore you are not permitted to gather and scatter hands forth Amen. I shall know that I am the Lord when I have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them out of the hands of those that serve themselves of them. Verses 28 and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beast of the land devour them. Amen. I didn't hear that term in well. Amen. But they shall do it safely yes, and none shall make them afraid. Amen. 
Verses 29. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown. Amen. And they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land. Amen. You didn't hear this one. I hear you, mommy. You shall no longer be consumed by hunger. Amen. The ladder your amen, the quicker your abundance. Amen. After today, your head will not lack oil. Amen. Your household shall not lack oil. Amen. Your kitchen shall not lack oil. Amen. Your hair shall not lack oil. Amen. Your bank account shall not lack oil. Amen. I prophesy Amen. with this fruit in your hair. Barrenness is over. Barrenness is over. Barrenness is over. Barrenness is over. If you are under the sound of my voice and you are not able to put food on the table, Jesus. there is where news a day. Jesus. It means you are barren as a man. I hear you, man. If you are not able to consummate your wife very, very well, uh-huh. it means you are barren. I hear you, man. I'm not talking to somebody. Talk to me, if you are not capable to produce fruits, Jesus. it means you are barren. I hear you, man. If you walk like an elephant uh-huh. and eat like an Jesus. It means you are barren. You, if you are jumping from one man to another man, Jesus. no man wants to take you in, uh-huh. but they want to take you out. Uh-huh. It means you are a pretend under barrenness. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, if you are not the sound of my voice, yes, up all the time. in front of you are helpers, Jesus. but you are not collected. Uh-huh. It means the spirit of they deal with you. Jesus. Therefore, I came in the volume of the yeah, book I hear you, that was written concerning you. Uh-huh. I don't know why you are the way you are. Jesus. I don't know the reason why you have been stagnated. Jesus. I can't help her at all. I receive it. When God created you, uh-huh. when God created you, you the first thing God said, uh-huh. be fruit. Yes, ma. Jesus. When he looked at you uh-huh. and saw that what he has created is good, uh-huh. he said, uh-huh. My son, uh, yes, my daughter, yes, be fruitful. Amen. No, no, not be me to talk this one, no. Yes, ma'am. Now, what did God talk when God created you? I hear you, ma'am. I'm not talking to somebody. Yes, ma'am. It is an error uh-huh. for an elephant uh-huh. to defecate like an ant. Yes, ma'am. It is an error yes, for an elephant uh-huh. as big as elephant yes, to pickle like an ant. Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, my I don't know why you are stagnated. Jesus. I don't know what is sitting on your head. Jesus. And God said to Jeremiah, uh-huh. in Jeremiah, Chapter 1, verse 5. Yes, ma'am. Before I form thee, yes, Lord. I ordained thee a prophet. Yes, Lord. Even not to many nations. Yes, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, ma'am. before you were born, uh-huh. your assignment necessitated your arrival. I hear you, ma'am. Your assignment precedes your arrival on earth. Uh-huh. Before you were conceived in your mother's womb, uh-huh. you had already started the start. Yes, ma'am. I hear you, my mother. You had begun the start. Yes, ma'am. Even before you were con- con- hey, conceived. I'm not talking to somebody. Talk to so when God created you, uh-huh. He put something on the inside of you yes, to go into the world and manifest. Yes, but what is it you are not manifesting? An enemy has done this. Jesus. How can a man go good see good see? Jesus. How can a man so good see uh-huh. and went home? Uh-huh. Rejoicing, uh-huh. expecting harvest uh-huh. in due time. Uh-huh. But when it was time for harvest, Jesus. he saw emptiness. Jesus. Why? Because uh-huh. after showing that seed, yes, one man slept. His enemy, uh-huh. not an enemy, uh-huh. his enemy. Uh-huh. Everyone has an enemy. Uh-huh. No matter how good you are, uh-huh. you have an enemy. Yes, I'm not talking to somebody. Uh-huh. No matter how good you are, yes, no matter how righteous you are, yes, no matter how prayerful you are, yes, you have an enemy. Yes, I'm not talking to somebody. Yes, no wonder the Bible 
Bible says, many are the afflictions, many are the afflictions of the prayerful, many are the afflictions of that one that comes to church every day, many are the afflictions of that prayer warrior, but thank God, the Lord delivered him, the Lord delivered him from them. Oh, whatever stop your fruitfulness, whatever stop your advancement, whatever stop your progress, whatever stop your advancement, whatever stop your success. If I can hear the last testament, it is annihilated. I say it is annihilated. I say it is annihilated. And God said to Moses and Aaron. He said, Go and tell Pharaoh, go and tell Pharaoh, go and tell Pharaoh to let Israel bear fruit. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, power. Hey, to let Israel do what? Bear fruit. A lot of you are bound, subjected to spiritual slavery. Somebody called me from. I said, you care something? The person said, mommy, each time I sleep, I will see myself carrying goose, selling goose. After selling, I will see myself giving account to a particular woman every Child. night. My God. For 52 years. Hey. The man is 52 years. No wife, no child, no papers, Child. no nothing. Rigma rolling in the streets. My God. Of London, Katapa. He said, each time he slept, he will see him himself making sales. After making sales, he will go and give account. Fire. A particular woman will collect everything from him, and he will go empty-handed. He will sleep again. He will see the same dream. Karapata. He said, let my people go and bear tonight. Yes, Lord. Tonight, yes, ma'am. Any hand yeah. holding you like this, fire. holding you to ransom. Fire. Wherever they are sitting, fire. having a meeting on your head, fire. wherever they get her, in the marketplace, fire. in the market square, fire. by the teacher shop, by a tree. Fire. Village, I catch up on the town. Wherever they make the incantation, wherever they gather to maim and destroy you, that you will never produce results, that you will go out and come back empty handed, that you will be pitiful for no husband, that you will get married, no child, that you will work but nothing to show, that you care for your brother, return with Ghana must go. Wherever they have made this pronouncement, wherever they have controlled and designed, tonight they can. The Bible says that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Pharaoh refused to let Israel go so they can bear food. Karatapa. In a cut of a lot And the Bible said that God released plague. Somebody shout play. Play. Shout it again. Play. Shout it again. Play. Their flood gate turned blood. They opened up blood. They went to the stream. Blood. Uh-huh. What's going to happen now? I want to drink water. Can I prophesy? Professor. After tonight. Yes, Lord. Anybody that refuses to let you bear fruit. Fire. They shall be tortured. Amen. Will take care of them. Hey. Fire will take care of them. Hey. Anointing will take care of them. Hey. Jehovah will handle them. Hey. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hey. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Hey. How will you be a fruit? First off, anything you touch from today. Yes, ma'am. Whatever it is you are involved in, yes, Lord. Marital, you financial, you uh-huh. 
Academically, uh -huh. politically, uh -huh. business wise, oh. yes, connection wise, oh. yeah. Kaya Palata. Amen. In as much as you are involved in it, yes, ma'am. Carabalatos, a coron the Molodos of Cotopalata, Little Pandu Grugutanda Tuta. It shall be a walkover. Yeah. Some of you see dead people, dead relatives in your tree. Tonight. Yes, Lord. Tonight. Yes, Lord. Mass the end of all of those incumbrances. Yeah. If you share the latest image, you are discharged. Yeah. The latter your image, you quit by your answer. Yeah. Another thing. You shall no longer look like the fig tree. Uh -huh. hey, man. Fig tree is flamboyant, flashy, but nothing inside. No more empty handedness. Hey, man. And the Lord speaking, saying, When they shall go. They shall not go empty. Yes, empty handedness has come to an end. Yeah. Empty handedness has come to an end. Yeah. Empty handedness. Yeah. Hey, yes, Lord. Hey. Hey. Power. Empty handedness. No matter what you do for your husband to love you, he despises you. Child. Empty handedness. Anything you do does not produce results. Mm. You don't see the dividend of what you put in, huh. of your labor, of your sweat. Karata. Oh, yeah. How will you train a man in school? As soon as he graduated, he said, I don't want to marry you. Hey. Empty handedness. I settled that case last, last month or so. Empty handedness. Somebody shout empty handedness. Empty handedness. Shout it again. Empty handedness. How can you marry a man when he was a nobody? When God started blessing him, he pushed you aside. After all your labor, you build together. When it's time for you to enjoy the fruit of your labor, he pushes you aside. Jenna. Tona. Uh -huh. Tona. Yes, ma'am. Tona. Yes, ma'am. Whether you have experienced it, whether you have not yet experienced it, maybe you are young, <laughs> you will never in your life again. Next, after today, the kind of peace you have never enjoyed before. Let me say, gentlemen, peace. Karata Balatos. You have 10,000 in your account, you are peaceful. The Bible says contentment is what? Great game. Give me your hand wherever you are. Keep them Keep them them Bobby. As you eat of this fruit, uh -huh. yes, Lord. As you eat of this fruit, uh -huh. yes, Lord. As you eat of this fruit, uh -huh. yes, Lord. Carry peace in the name of Jesus. Yes. I profess I have heaven open. I profess I have heaven open. Wave your hand and say hallelujah. In the book of Genesis chapter 3. Oh, yes. And the Bible says. Yes. In the cool of the day. Uh -huh. God in the garden. Yes, yes, God in the garden of Eden. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. God called Adam. Uh -huh. Before then. Yes. The Bible says. Yes, yes, Lord, walking in the garden. In other words, oh, 
Yes. A voice yes. is an entity. I hear you, my mother. Hey, say to Jesus. And that dove spoke. Yes, and that dove spoke. Yes, every voice Jesus. is an entity. I hear you, my mother. Every voice yes. is a personality. I hear you, my and that dove spoke. Uh -huh. This is my uh -huh. beloved son. Yes, in whom I am well pleased. Jesus. Can I talk to somebody? Talk to me. After tonight, yeah. after tonight, yes, you shall be rewarded. Yeah. I say you shall be rewarded. Yeah. I say you shall be rewarded. Yeah. Here comes your reward. Yeah. Here comes your reward. Yeah. You have labored for too long. Yes, it's time for reward. Yes, you have paid your dues. Yes, you shall enter your due season. Yes, you have paid your tithe. Yes, you shall not be in a tight corner. Yes, you have given your offering. Yes, you shall no longer suffer. Yes, your hand and shout out your barakat. I hear the Lord say to me yes, in my last ear. Yes, somebody under the sound of my voice. Yes, your yes, tears are over. Like a fig tree. Yes, ma'am. I hear you, mommy. Any man or girl, any boy or girl whose salary is not up to five hundred thousand, yes, ma'am, and you are using an iPhone fourteen, hey! and you don't have a plot of land anywhere, you don't have sense. I hear you, mommy. You are flaunting an iPhone. Who cares about your iPhone? We care about your future. I hear you, mommy. Talk to me. We care about your tomorrow. That's yes, ma'am. Hey. Your tomorrow must be greater than today. You don't use iPhone 14. Uh -huh. Your salary is not even up to 500k. You went and bought iPhone 14. Even if not person buy, I'm selling. Go and buy land. I hear you, mommy. Fence and keeper. I'm telling you. Don't go and buy car. No go buy car. Car go get accident. You know, get value. So you can have value. If you buy the land next year, it will appreciate. Even if you want to sell it, you got appreciate. Just buy. Fence I'm there. If you're not going to get money to build, money will come later. Yes, ma'am. Just leave it there. Be using touch phone. Get out of there. Not get a touch. Stop. Listen to me. Don't go broke. Trying to prove to broke people that you are not broke. Whoa. Nobody actually cares. Hey. You don't care. Hey. Nobody sent you. I hear you, my mother. Nobody sent you. Stop trying to impress. Express, not impress. I hear you, I hear you ma. General impression brings private depression. Child. Child. Hey, what you want? They make I shall go show them. Make I show them. You're on your own. They don't actually care. When you now go, the real broke. <laughs> Now that time they will laugh you. Stop trying to impress people for crying out loud. Who cares? Live your life. Live your life now. Me, I not send that. I not send you. Be you. What? What will you offer me that I should be fake? Pretend for what? I not pretend anything. Your tomorrow must be greater. Now listen. Yes, not only by profit, if you have sense, you must not buy that shoe. Stop competing. Yes, you must not buy that hair. Where that get buy? Yes, I must buy this hair. Yes, no wonder you are cheap. Cha. My because of hair, you are cheap. Mm. Because of iPhone, you went and contacted HIV. Cha. My God. Like an iPhone. iPhone 
Anything that will fall inside water and spoil, you go fall for ground, you go scatter. May the Lord give you sense, oh. Amen. Live your life to the fullest. First off, please God. Another one, yourself. Then, help people. Now, I want to say this to you. Anyone under the sound of my voice, if I can hear the loudest, amen. Yes, mommy. There shall be no emergency. 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 In your household, no emergency. Around you, no emergency. Around your children, no emergency. Around your spouse, no emergency. Around your parents, no emergency. Around your siblings, no emergency. You shall not be called upon that, 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 and then you begin to cry. It shall not happen. Amen. Our sister said, standing here today, she is the reflection of the glory of God. She said, about two years ago, her life was shattered. It was battered. It was ruptured. It was punctured. There was nothing palatable about her life. She said in the midst of all of these negativities around her life, she located this grace. And then she came into this ministry. She said when she came here, she said, Pastor, if you are seeing me then, you won't want to look at me twice. Because there was nothing interesting about my life. She said, but when I came into this ministry, God connected me to the voice of solution. God connected me to Mommy Rose. God connected me to the destiny beautifier. God connected me to the destiny enhancer of our generation. And she said, from that day, Mommy took her in as a child, like a child. And then doors began to open for her. She said, Mommy blesses her today. She said, standing here from her head to her shoes. She said, she is a direct reflection of the benefit Benevolent spirit of our mother. And she said yesterday was her birthday. God added a new year to her. And she's not taking it for granted. Celebrate Jesus. And she said standing here today. Is because of her connection to this grace. Standing here today. Is because of what this grace has achieved and accomplished in her life. I don't know what that ugly situation in your life is. I have good news for you. Because you have connected to this altar of beauty. Your destiny, your life will be beautified in the name of Jesus. Our sister said God has been faithful to her. She said as she had this very itching and and. and scratching and all of those terrible sensations going on in her body. She says she will sleep in the night and then her body will be scratching her. She will be walking on the road her body will be scratching her terribly. As a matter of fact, she was demonstrating it to me outside and I could just feel the level of pain and embarrassment that our mother here has been going through. She said body will be scratching her and all of those things. And then about last week she got tired and said no. I cannot be connected to such a powerful ministry such as the ministry of Mommy Rose Kevin and then I go through such satanic harassment in my life. So she came to church and then gathered sand from Ogula Prayer Mountain and then she went home and said oh God of Mommy Rose wherever this evil is coming from as I apply this sand on my body let it disappear forever. Mama said she applied the sand just rubbed the sand on her body and then she lay down. She said few minutes later she something strong and then she checked lo and behold the bed that she made by herself clean bed that she made before she went to sleep she said she woke up got up about a few minutes later and discovered an old rotting office pin somebody shot fire perhaps the, 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 that pin was what the enemy was using to deal with her and then she picked up that pin and right in her heart she felt that indeed God has gone ahead of her God has healed her God has taken away that pain and she said from that day till today till eternity she no longer feels that sensation she's completely made her to the glory of God can you please celebrate Jesus jam those sense together for the Lord and today mama is standing here hale and hearty she no longer has all of those sensations the God of the first of solution has healed her come on jam those sense together for the Lord our brother said his first testimony is that since he grew up to know himself as an adult and as a Christian 
This is the very first time he will stand before the congregation of the saints of God to testify. Can you please stand with thanks God for Jesus? Many of you don't understand what this means. It means that his life has been devoid of testimonies. His life has been devoid of celebration. His life has been devoid of joy. But because he got connected to this man, he got connected to this ministry. He is standing here today for the first time to thank God for something in his life. Now, he said he had stroke at the time. And then, you know, after a while, he was okay. Then he said the enemy stroke again. He said from his tied down. He felt this numbness and then he couldn't walk. If he attempts to walk sometimes, he said he will fall down. It was such an embarrassing situation. He said the pain was so excruciating that as an adult, he would be crying like a baby. Then he said he came to this church sometimes ago, some, some few weeks ago, and then he heard the testimony of the Ogula prayer mountain of this ministry. He said he went there, harvested some sand, and then placed on the leg. He said, to his greatest surprise, you know what it means for someone who has never testified before, to know what a testimony is. He said, as soon as the sun touched his leg, he said he felt as though there was some surgical operations going on on that leg. And he said, in less than 30 minutes, the whole pain disappeared. All the symptoms of numbness disappeared. And today, he is standing here, hell and hearty. Now, please show the devil what you couldn't do before and what you can do now. Are you just looking like that? This was what you couldn't do before. And you are just sitting down like that. Jump on your feet and celebrate Jesus for healing this brother from that spirit of stroke. It is permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. Our sister said she has come to give the Lord all the praise for all that the God of Ogula One has done for her in her life and in her career. She said connecting to this ministry has been her greatest strength in life. Connecting to this oil has been her greatest, you know, encouragement in life and in destiny. She said sometimes ago she came to church from Lagos and then she met with her mother and then Via the prophetic, mommy told her and said, there is a satanic arrangement to poison you. And then mommy prayed for her and said, today, that evil arrangement is shattered by fire. She screamed, amen, and mommy clearly told her that there was a satanic gang up against her in her office. But the God she served was going to intervene for her in her place of work. Saints of God, her sister left the service that faithful day. The first testimony was that on her way to Lagos, she met a, a vehicle that was going to Lagos and then she stopped the vehicle and they asked her, where are you going to? She said, I'm going to Lagos. And they said, okay. The driver told her, I am compelled to carry you free of charge. In other words, I will carry you from Abuja to Lagos without paying a dime. Can you please celebrate God? That was the first favor that God did for her. Hallelujah. And then she said, secondly, when she got to her office, you know, the prophecy shall receive what that some persons were ganging up against her in the office. She said, to the glory of God, upon resuming the office, there was a secular you know, that some persons had been transferred. And she was shocked that all those that came against her were all miraculously transferred from her office. Can you please turn the hands together for Jesus? She said, as if that was not enough, you know, there were a few of them who were still remaining. A second wave of the transfer came, and those ones that were remaining were all transferred to various souls. Can you please turn your sense together for the Lord? And her sister said, today, she has her rest in the office, and the colleagues are asking her, sister, where do you worship? How are you getting these things done? Who are you connected to? And she lifted up hands and said, I am connected to the God of Mamiru's Kevin. I am connected to Ogula Altar. Come on, somebody, jump the stairs, of the Lord. And today, her job is preserved. She's enjoying her location. And she has come all the way from Lagos State to Abuja to give God all the praise. And then she said, thirdly, before now, her finances have been so tight. But January this year, she made up her mind. She decided that she was going to be a fit Full tighter in this ministry, and since she started paying her tithe consistently and faithfully, she said there has been a, 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 a positive upsurge in her finances. And today she has come to give the Lord all the praise. And finally, our sister said that 
that evil arrow, that evil poison that the enemy meant for her because of her connection to this ministry. The God of Mommy Rose went ahead of her and that satanic arrangement was averted and today she's standing a hale and hearty and she has come to return all the praise to God. Our brother is equally thanking God as said since he stepped into this ministry, Jehovah has beautified his life. He says since he stepped into this ministry, doors have begun to open for him. He said first he wants to thank God his wife took in and to the glory of God via his connection to this ministry. She put to bed recently to the glory of God. The wife gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. Can you please celebrate Jesus? And today he is standing here as a father. Can you please celebrate God? I don't know what you are trusting God for. Perhaps you are trusting God for this order of testimony. Soon you shall also be called the father in the name of Jesus. You shall also be called the mother in the name of Jesus. And then he said his in-law and the, the brother-in-law were kidnapped sometimes ago, about two to three weeks ago in Kaduna. And then he said that was a great concern to him and to the wife. Considering the fact that she just put to bed recently, he was concerned as a husband. How can my wife have a new baby? And then we are worried because, you know, this has happened in our place. And then he said, let me put a, 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 a chat through to Mommy Rose. He chatted with me and said, Mommy, this is what has happened. Please help me. Pray for me. I want their release. Now, when these people were kidnapped, the kidnappers were demanding for a ransom of about 15 million naira. Somebody shot fire. He said, as a family, they didn't have such amount of money to pay. So, he, the only option left was to seek for supernatural and spiritual assistance. And then he called mommy and mommy said, I am going to pray for them. And then mommy prayed. He said he believed that prayer so much because, of course, this is his powerhouse. And to the glory of God, few days after that call, he said the in-law called him from Kaduna and said, my son, God has done it. They have just been released today. Somebody looking like that, John, the first for Jesus. And today, they have been reunited with their family and our brother is not taking it for granted. Our sister says sometimes last year she came into this ministry out of a dead need for financial assistance. She said her daughter was about rounding up her her old levels and had no money anywhere. Doors closed left, right and center. And then she came to church that day and then a woman came testifying how that God gave her a child after 10 years. And then in that service, mommy said, if you want to connect to favor, come and dash the baby a seed. Come and dash the baby money. She ran outside with the little she had and said, I obey the voice of my prophet. And as I give to this child, Lord, let someone else help my child. And then after that encounter, she left the service and went home. She said, God connected that to a woman who said, this is your daughter. What is she doing? She said, well, she's trying to write her wayek and neko, but we don't have the money. This lady said to the glory of God, the woman told her, said, don't worry. I want to adopt this your daughter as my child. I want to be the one responsible for all of her financial demands. And she said the woman paid her wayek money, paid the daughter's neko money, supernatural provision. And she said the woman is in Indeed, a destiny helper. She said, beside paying all of the, the school fees, she said the woman has been supporting her and her family financially. And she's not taking it for granted. She has come to say, Father, thank you for this order of favor that I enjoy as a result of my connection to this ministry. Our sister has come all the way from Kano State to give this testimony. She said some time ago, just a few, uh, few weeks, last week, she lost the father and then they were supposed to go for the burial. She said there was all manner of revelation, you know, she was scared, you know, of traveling to the village. And then she ran to mommy on Friday service. She was so restless. Mommy called her. And then mommy prayed for her and told her not to worry that she was going to go to the village and return successfully. First, she says she has come to give God all the praise because the Lord granted them journey mercy and the burial was a successful one. Uh, all that the enemy planned, God averted and she's standing here today, hail and hearty. Can you generous thanks to God for the Lord? And then she says, secondly, prior to this time, her elder sister was finding it very difficult to conceive. So she came with the mom and the elder sister at, at that point, the sister was planning to go for an IVF. But she came into this service sometimes last year. And the mommy stood on this altar and made certain brutal declarations. In one of, the, of such, she said, whatever you are looking for, the God will my serve. Grant it to you now in the name of Jesus. She said her sister screamed amen at the top of her voice. And then after the service, while they were still arranging themselves to go for uh, the, the IVF, you know, after a period of time, 
She said she went to the hospital and the doctors checked the sister and said, Madam, you said you wanted to go for an IVF, but actually there is a baby in your womb. She was meant to go for IVF, but after the encounter with the God of my mother, a miracle baby was brought. Come on, jump on your feet and celebrate Jesus. And that IVF was cancelled. And the sister went in, brought forth like the Hebrew woman. And today, our sister has come to testify on the behalf of her other sister because what she thought she could not do by herself. After she encountered the God of this commission, Jehovah did it for her. And now she's a mother. She's not taking it for granted. She said, thirdly, her mother also came into that service. And then she, the doctor had diagnosed her of uh, kidney or liver infection, something like that. And her life was threatened. And she came to this ministry. And in that same service, mommy prayed and declared all manner of healing for the people. She said, after they left the service, the mother said, no, there is something different happening in my system. I can feel something happening. Let us go to the hospital. Saints of God, they left here and went to the hospital. The doctors checked and said, madam, we can't find any of such traces anymore. Your system is well. You are perfectly okay. And she was discharged to the glory of God. Her sister says she has come to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. She said her son in abroad has had this difficulties getting his paper. And then you know it is one thing to go there. It is another thing to get your, you know, your residence permit and to also get your work permit. She said as a mother this has been a concern to her and to her son. Each time the son will call her, he would, he would, he would start crying and say, oh mama I can't be here. I can't work. There are certain things I can't do because of this papers that I don't have. And then she will encourage the son and say, don't worry, God will do it. And then she said she came to church sometimes last month. Mama said she came out in that service. What was her prayer? Oh God of mommy Rose, I asked that to give my son residence permit, give my son work permit. That was her prayer. And after that brutal declaration, she went back and called the son and said, my son, it is done. And then she told the son and said, mommy, Rose just prayed on you now. And she has declared that your papers are released. Saints of God, to the glory of God, last week the son called her and was screaming and shouting on the phone. He said, mama, God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. She said, my son, come down. What happened? He said, no, mama, the God of that your pastor, the God of that your prophet has done it for me. I have my papers. I have my work permit. I have my residence permit. Is that to celebrate the God of my mother? Jump on your feet and give Jesus a big shout of praise. Oh, Holy Spirit, right now, I'm dependent on you. Show yourself so strong. And stand fast, flap your wings around, touching every soul. Come touch us one more time.